thank uh, 330 Maniac for putting out good content for under the ice trapping. Thanks, bud. I learned a lot. Well, there's a reason why people want muskrats. This muskrat hat is like zero out and I am sweating. Um, it's a warm hat, so go out and catch the muskrats. Make yourself a hat. Be sure to uh, contact your game warden and find out if uh, it's legal in your state to trap uh, feeder huts or pop-ups and uh, sleeper huts in the wintertime where you're digging into them. Make sure you check it out in your state before you do it. All right, we are headed down to the lake. Um, gonna go set up for some muskrats. I am a ice trapping virgin when it comes to uh, muskrats through the ice. And so um, this is a new experience for me. I'm pretty excited. So I had to wear my muskrat hat, you know. Um, actually, it's freaking cold out too. Well, let me back up. That was a little bit traumatic. It's not that cold. It's it's two above. Um, it's going to be nice out there. That's negative two. Oh, it's negative two. I need my a glasses. Sidekick on. with me, Mr. Chance. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to head out there, have a good time together. Go get some rats. Go get some muskrats. All right. A few things we're going to bring. I got a. Made a new handle for my auto sled here, so that's gonna be nice. Got a roll of wire. I got one trap already out there that I set last night, so I'm gonna go check that. I'm gonna bring 20 traps, 20 little stakes. Um, roll of wire, pliers, hatchet. Don't need that. Act. Snow shovel just in case. Um, but we're gonna be going through the huts. So bottle of water. Some gauntlet gloves. I think that's all we need. So let's go rat trapping. Pulling this out. And I'm hoping to get a better seal on my. Alright, it's pretty clean. You feel right where the, the hole goes down. I got a nice spot right there for a trap. I don't want my hand to freeze to it. This one here has got a, a bigger cavity in there. All right, at this one there, this pop up has a nice, really nice shelf in there. So, easy from here. It's a bigger pop up, too. And now I got all this good stuff here. Go ahead and seal that hole up real nice. I'm learning as I'm going. Pull out uh, some of that wet stuff. That's right down there. So let's go uh, go to the next one. All right, we got, we got a sleeper hut here. Those little huts are feeder huts. I think they the feeder huts here pop up towards well this time of year, midwinter, late winter. So um, I don't see them uh, early on, but. Uh, I don't know, maybe they're running out of food around here or something. I don't know, but um, so I'm thinking that little feeder hut right there that I just set up is part of this sleeper hut here. So anyways, we're gonna bust into this sleeper hut. There's a cross hole right here. Um, we're gonna check it out. Oh yeah, good and wet. Right there, let me change gloves. Won't even need the ax for this one, or the hatchet. Hey, nice. Yeah, 
my first time doing this here, I feel like there'd be a muskrat in it, and I'm gonna get my ass chewed up. <laughs> so I'm a little bit spooked. I think I'm gonna send the, the back side of it. I think I'm gonna go with the stop loss trap here. I'm gonna try to get the GoPro in there and see what it looks like. All right, there's a chance he's gonna hold the light and see what we can. So Chance, he can't trap this here because he just moved back from Tennessee, but I just want to give him a chat opportunity to see what it's like. Oh, that's pretty cool. You see it? Yeah. It's got that shelf in there. That's pretty neat. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. This is a lot easier trapping rats this way, I think, than, than I, I paddled this with the canoe. And boy, I fought it. Gosh, I fought it. And uh, I didn't do crap on muskrats really in here. I didn't do real good. Uh, got iced up, and, and then I ended up pulling. But this is a lot easier than open water trapping, I think. Okay, I'm noticing something here. Um, I got a couple huts behind me. This one's got a frost hole. It's got a lot of snow on it, you know. So, and then this one, that one over there. Let's see if I can zoom in. <clears throat> that one over there had no frost hole, and it was dead. So nothing in it. And then so this one here, no frost hole, so I passed it up. So see here this one has some fresh vegetation. That one back there didn't have no fresh vegetation. So yep. I'm learning as I'm going. So man, I tell you what, I'm I'm having a ball with this. Uh, this is a lot of fun. Um, I got an entrance hole right here another one right there a nice shelf in between to go ahead and set a trap down um you add a little bit oh sorry chance um, a little bit more in there and there's a piece of in there and then right, go ahead. and this shelf right here go right there and these rats are that's pretty slick man so they're coming up there and I, I didn't think there was nothing good in it, but you see all this green stuff. That's a pretty good idea that there's muskrats in their feeding. I don't think this is a, this one here is a sleeper. I think it's a, be, a turd. I think it was an old sleeper. Turned it into a feeder. But I don't know. What do I know? First time I'm doing this crap. them depends which lake I go to I guess uh, it's one I think I'm gonna go to it's pretty far away so I won't go there twice in one day All right, let's go check that hut right there and then we got one a hut a sleeper two three four five looks like about six more and we're done Trap's definitely down there. Hey, 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 we got one. 
Look at that. We got one. That is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, that's cool stuff. So I got some other traps that are frozen up. I just pulled them. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set this one back up here. That's cool. That is so cool. out so I wonder what's going on here. Let's check it out. Rose in there, yeah we got one. Let's go. Make sure not to cut the most right. Make that pit right there. better insulation and, and these things um, rose was a hit. something new I thought I yep learned something new here so, gotta be careful big rat for here all my sleeper huts have looked like this coming up and it's not from stuff falling on it because um, this trap was further back, so um, I think I'm gonna clean that out and, and then uh, let's get the GoPro down there. See what it looks like. All right, that's the hole down there. I think there's a hole right back here. Alright, 
let's uh let's just reset it up i definitely got to insulate these things better that's for sure There we go. And a little rat. I figured they'd be bigger this time of year. I don't know. Got him. We got him. There we go. Heck yeah. But uh, smaller traps. Um, I think I'm going to use my number one stop loss. And uh, so they can get down the hole. You know. Um, this is an average Montana rat. Small. <sighs> That's what I'm gonna use is a smaller trap, so that way they can get down the hole a little bit better. That was my bad on that. So I missed uh, missed quite a few. Um, all in the ones I missed though, they were in um, um, sleeper huts. So let's go get this put back together. Nice one. Uh, decent rat. Oh, finally got one in a sleeper hut. Well, this one here ruined his feeder hut, and now we got a frozen in muskrat right there. Right on the head. All right, last trap. And this one has dug out. Yep, I can feel him right there and he's frozen of course. 